Well, good evening, church, and welcome to our Wednesday evening service. We want to welcome you in the wonderful, precious, powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And here we are on day 62 of, of lockdown. Um, 62 days. Can you believe it? We've been locked away for 62 days. But I don't know how many of you watched our president as he spoke last night. And uh, he spoke of the relaxing of the laws. And we know that we're going to level three of this lockdown um, in, in just a few days. In fact, on the 1st of, of June. But he's also spoken of the relaxing of the laws with regards to um, religious activities, to our church, and to those things that we can do as pastors and the things that we can do as congregations. So we are busy with the church board and with the, the DS and, and, and the general church in working out exactly where we're going to be going and what we're going to be doing. So please keep your eyes open. We will be posting on, on WhatsApp and uh, I'll be bringing out uh, short messages just to, to keep you informed and to tell you what is going on. We look forward, really look forward to meeting together again, to being able to share time together, even with the reality of, of social distancing. But it would be good just to be together in one room together as we pray together and worship together. Let's just pray this evening. Father, we want to thank you. We want to thank you that we can come together like this, Lord, with the, the wonderful privilege that we have of, of internet, Lord, and technology that's, that's allowing us to, to connect in such an amazing manner. Lord, we're separated by space, but we're connected by your Holy Spirit. And as we share time together with you tonight, as we worship you, as we hear your word this evening, Lord, would you, Lord, touch our lives and change us. Lord, may this time that we spend in worship together with you tonight be a time, Lord, of change as we draw closer to you, as we start to look more like you. Lord, as we start to reflect you more and more in the world around us. Would you have your way with us? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. These are the days of Elijah declaring the word of the Lord. And these are the days of your servant Moses, righteousness being restored. And these are the days of great trials, of famine and darkness and sword. So we are the voice in the desert crying prepare ye the way of the lord behold he comes riding on the clouds shining like a sun at the trumpet call lift your voice to year of jubilee and out of zion's hill salvation comes these are the days of ezekiel bones becoming as flesh and these are the days of your servant david rebuilding a temple of praise and these are the days of the harvest the fields are as wide in the world and we are the laborers in your vineyard declaring the word of the lord behold he comes riding on the clouds Shining like the sun at the trumpet call, lift your voice to year of jubilee, and how does Zion's hill salvation comes? Behold, he comes riding on the clouds, shining like the sun at the trumpet call, lift your voice to year of jubilee, and out of Zion's hill salvation comes. like Jehovah, there's no God 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 like Jehovah, behold he comes. Riding on the clouds, shining like a sun at the trumpet call. Lift your voice to year of jubilee, and out of Zion's hill salvation comes. Behold, he comes, riding on the clouds, 
shining like the sun at the trumpet call. Lift your voice, the year of Jubin. Zion's hill, salvation comes. Praise to our God forever and ever. Praise to our God forever and ever. Praise to our God forever and ever. It is well 
it all My eyes are on you It is well It is well So let go my soul And trust in Him The waves and waves So let go my soul and trust in Him. The waves and winds still know His name. So let go my soul and trust in Him. The waves and winds. Greetings, beloved, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What a privilege it is to share the Word of God with you tonight under the circumstances. When things go well, we normally say time flies by so quickly. And when things are going all right, we normally say it's amazing how time just goes by very fast. But when things are not going so well, when things are in a low key, we normally ask, hey, when is this going to end? When is this lockdown going to end for us? Because we're now in a low key. And we ask the question, when and how long is this going to last? This takes me back to a psalm written by David, Psalm 13, and it reads as follows. How long, O Lord, will you forget 
me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? And many times we, we feel the same when we are isolated from, from people. It, it, it's not a nice feeling when we are taken away. And, and, and in the situation we find ourselves in today during lockdown, we are basically isolated from other people around us. And yet David writes in Psalm 13, feeling the same way, feeling forgotten. But his situation is, he's, he feels like he was cut off from God. And that's how David felt when he wrote the Psalm. Because he said, how long will you forget me? And many times, Christians, pastors, leaders, church leaders, we ask ourselves the question, or we ask God the same question. How long, O oh God, will you forget me? We think that we are forgotten by God. And you know, um, that's the thing that happens when you've been praying about something for quite a long time and there is no outcome. And you ask God, have you forgotten about me? And right now, the world and, and, and a lot of Christians may ask the same question or think for themselves, the Lord has forgotten about us. He doesn't know about us anymore. He wrote us off. But we don't have to feel that way. You know, the Israelites, God's chosen people, felt the exact same thing. They also went through the same motions. And in Isaiah chapter 49, verses 14, Israelites asked, ask and they say the following. But Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me and the Lord has forgotten me. They thought they were cut off. But I want to encourage you with the following verse in how God replies to what the Israelites were saying. God says in chapter 49, Isaiah 49, verses 15, Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely then they may forget, yet I will not forget you. This is God's response, and what a beautiful response towards us as God's children and as God's people. That He will not forget us. He we will always be on His mind. You know, God's love and care for us as the church and as a people is like the sun. It's there constantly. Even when clouds come and cover it and we can't see it, the sun is still there. And sometimes, or, or maybe we will feel like that tonight. Where there's clouds all around us and it's been there for a long time. And we think that God has forgotten about us. But yeah, I want to remind you, saints, please not to forget about the Lord. Don't forget, the Lord has not forgotten about us. We are constantly on His mind. And His love and mercy is constantly there. Just like the sun is shining every day. Don't follow or fall in that trap. To think that you've been forgotten. Because you don't have an answer to a prayer that you've, or, or something you've been praying about for quite a long time. Don't fall into that trap tonight, but rather look, look at, at how God responded towards his people. We are God's creation. He made us. 
and he made us in his image as the word teaches us. And how can God forget about us? He will never forget about us. We are constantly on his mind. The Lord is faithful. Though you may walk through difficult times or go through difficult times, the Lord is with you where you are. And as I was preaching on Sunday, where Daniel was facing a, a huge trial, the Lord was with him, even though he didn't look that God was with him, when they threw him into that den. But the Lord shut the mouths of the lions right there. So it may seem tonight that nothing's going on. But remember this one thing, the Lord is constantly watching over us. Just like the sun is shining every day, so our Father in heaven looked over us. Let us pray together. Father, we thank you for your love, your mercy and your grace. We thank you for your goodness towards us. We pray tonight, dear Lord, that you will bless your word, bless your people, wherever they are, O oh God, keep your hand of protection over them. Pour out your Holy Spirit, O oh God, over their lives. Help them to realize that you are there with them, right in that situation where they find themselves in. So we ask, Lord, that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, have your way in us. In the overcoming name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord keep you. Have a good evening. And now may His grace and His love abide within us. Now and forevermore. Amen.